What is good, y'all? Your boy DLCs are back here on this, um, you know, this NBA 2K journey. I'm enjoying it a lot. I think there's a lot that this game does right. It's uh, better than NBA 2K21. So overall, I'm absolutely enjoying it. One of the things that I would definitely say is better is the token market here. Some of these rewards, some of these rewards, I think these Emerald Sapphires, you had to get, I believe, 10 or 12 last year to unlock the next rank. This year, only five that is infinitely better because these, these are pricey. Once you take into account, even at the beginning, okay, Emerald's what? Three tokens. Three is not bad. But yeah, once you start getting to Amethyst, okay, 30, that's going to take you a minute. Even if you play the game a lot, and as a content creator, I don't know many people, you know, especially if you're not some kind of content creator, you're getting, basically getting paid or tend to get paid for this. I don't know many people that play more than me, and even last year, I never get got to the Galaxy Oval Market. By the time I would have gotten there, you, I would have already had more players that I enjoyed far more in terms of, you know, level rewards or just other diamonds. Especially after Christmas, they start giving you kind of some pink diamonds and ways to unlock pink diamonds then later in the year galaxy opal so yeah i didn't need the market by the time because look at these we want to show the galaxy opal apparently it's hidden away i guess uh, for but for pink diamonds for example 150 tokens for a pink diamond so you know you, that's gonna take you many you're playing a whole bunch so yeah this is infinitely better than it has been in previous years some good rewards on here too. I'm hearing a lot about the uh, yeah Serge Ibaka. I'm hearing a lot about the amateur Serge Ibaka. He apparently is a really good center, especially for this point in the game. Last year, probably at least most of the rest of this season, probably even beyond that at a 91, because height, you know, and size, things like that really matter this year. Especially if you're on next gen, the physics are just better in terms of you know. And you take all that into account when you're trying to play offense or defense. Like, can I dunk over Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with uh, Spud Webb? <laughs> Probably not. But, you know, previous years, you could kind of get away with some crazy things sometimes. The physics seem like they're working a lot better, again, especially on next gen. I am on next gen and waiting for, you know, waiting for it to be where pretty much everybody can get whatever console they want. And we're starting to get there. But anyway, even with the... The lower token worth. You're like, how in the world do you get so many tokens? I'm going to show you one of the ways. You probably already have enough to get some of these and don't even realize. You've probably been seeing. Let me go to my collection over here. Let's go to rewards and the uniform rewards. Like I've already got 16 out of 30 of these statement uniforms. Almost completed the uh, statement rewards for the Western Conference and. Here, look at this. When you complete, uh, there's 15 of these. You'll get 20 tokens just for doing 15, collecting 15 of these jerseys. And they're easy to get. As I said, I've got all 10, uh, 11 of them already. And I really just started trying to, you know, trying to collect them. Because once I realized how easy it was to do, I actually noticed that, hey, you get 20 tokens for completing this. And you'll see that under, let me go back to... Check where the rewards are. If you're going under lifetime agendas, you'll see, um, for example, Pacific Division. 15, 15 of these complete so far. Just things like collect five Suns players. That's for a logo, but for uniforms here. 20 dunks with Suns players. You'll do this over time anyway, even if you're not intending to. There'll be all kinds of challenges where you have to do things with different teams, players. You know how my team works. You probably got some of these people on your, as I said, I bet you probably already got, huh, let me get a drink of water, all this talking. There you go. As I said, you probably already have six or seven of these and, and you hadn't even been trying. So once you actually start focusing on these, you will quickly grind out those, They're right here, 20 dunks with some players. You can do that in rookie dom or, you know, triple threat offline, either one. For some of you newer players, that's some of the best places to grind these challenges, either rookie domination mode or triple threat offline. You just keep in going in and dunking or shooting threes on the computer. Clippers three-pointers, 23-pointers with Clippers players will get you 
Clippers icon uniform, and before you know it, you've got 15 uniforms, which equals 20 tokens. That's going to get you, so there's what, 100 or 120 of those you can get, and that's going to add up very quickly. And it's something that doesn't take long to do. By the way, you're also getting, like, if we're completing this specific division rewards, you get get a five-card deluxe pack. See, ball, and you're going to get some token rewards here, ball rewards. We've got 50,000 rewards for unlocking tokens. They really did a good job this year, I think, like on the token rewards and making it slightly easier for you to get tokens. Not even slightly, yeah, much easier, especially for the ones that come later, the Galaxy Opals, the Pink Diamonds. And you're also going to be hitting things like your collector level here. You're going to be collecting all these cards without even making a huge effort to do it. I've already got 250 cards just by cracking packs, by doing uh, other challenges, completing things, you know. I just unlocked uh, Daryl Griffith. I'll see, you'll see that video real soon as I put some of his gameplay up. He's really fun. Dr. Duncanstein, I can't wait to show you that, but this is just how we're going to get some of the grinding done this year, and, you know, we're going to be, I want to say no money spent. Excuse me, I guess I'll say, because I've been up for a minute on this grinding. I guess I will say no more money spent because I did buy the the uh, the deluxe edition. I forget what it's called for for this one because I again play a lot of these games, but bought the edition that comes with you know some sapphires, some promo packs. But other than that, I don't plan to put any more money into this. Plan to just grind, especially with the token rewards being a lot better. Plan to collect cards with these rewards and let's see some of the uh, like the Luka Doncic that we see. Season one reward, you know, call to ball. Where is um, he's under lifetime uh, agendas also? You do. I'm almost finished with that. You do these uh, 15 things here. Get you a 92 overall diamond Luka Doncic. He's going to be pretty good for a reasonably long time. Most of this ain't hard. You know, domination stars, triple threat offline. Five, these are things you're going to be doing anyway as you go through the my team mode. Limited games. Draft games are kind of a pain because they really are trying to charge, almost want to charge you to play draft. They even almost, they want to charge you. They want you to open your wallet and play draft. Play limited, spotlight channel. The only part of this is going to be hard is the my team collecting these, collecting these base sets. Let me see how close I even am to any of that. Probably not, yeah. That's going to take a minute. But, I mean, other than that, that's a relatively easy grind. Heck, and if they keep giving us uh, challenges like the Daryl Griffiths one, I might not even need Luca by the time I get it. But this one is a lifetime challenge. They'll do this at any point during the season. And these are stuff that you'll probably get this done anyway as you play, especially the longer you play the game. If you really want to be first, okay, and you need to be hammering these out now. But we're getting here. I just, since I'm talking about it, I'll show you how my team's looking so far. There go, line up. As I said, I've <laughs> been up too late. But uh, Fred Flynn Van Vliet, I got him for... Got him for doing one of the, I, I got him to do one of the challenges and actually ended up liking him at point guard. My man, Daryl Griffith, I said that video is coming. Rolando Blackman, I pulled really early and had him graded. Of course, Grant has been great. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, as I said, he's seven foot tall. And you can't teach that. So yeah, and all the reward players have actually been decent. They fit into your lineup. They do cool things. Evo players, you know. Rocking, we're, we're, we're matriculating. You're going to have a good time, I think, building your no-money-spent team this year, and you're going to be able to compete with your no-money-spent team. They see what they're doing. If they're doing that right this year. That's what I wanted to tell you about. And with all that said, hey, you know the drill. Leave me a like. You know, Leave me a comment. Tell me kind of where you are on your my team journey. Tell me if, you got, if you're got if you going grinding the token market or how you're putting your team together. And with all that said, I will catch you in the next video.